सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर आई एम टेलिंग यू हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व द कॉम्प्लिकेटेड क्वेश्चन विद जस्ट फ्यू शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स विद इन फ्यू सेकेंड्स इन द इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ बीम्स एंड इन दिस यूनिट आई विल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रेसेस नाउ द नेम मे सीम द कॉम्प्लेक्स मे मे सीम कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रेसेस बट इट इज द क्वेश्चन विल नॉट बी डेट कॉम्प्लेक्स इफ यू सॉल्व विद द मैथड विच आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इन दिस वीडियो तो वी विल स्टार्ट वन क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन से इज अ कास्ट एंड ब्लॉक ऑफ फाइव सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर क्रॉस सेक्शन कैरीज एन एक्सीयल लोड ऑफ टेन टन The resultant stress at a plane at at an angle of 45 degree to the vertical is okay. So what is given in the question? So we have a cast iron block which is subjected to an axial load of 10 ton. Okay, we have to determine the resultant stress at a plane for which is 45 degree inclined to the vertical. Okay, now first I will tell you the conventional method and then I will tell you the shortcut. So the conventional method says that whenever we want to determine resultant stress at any plane, first we will determine the normal stress in that plane sigma theta then we will determine the shear stress in that plane tau theta and then we can determine the resultant under root of sigma theta plus tau theta will give us the resultant in that particular plane so for this also we will have to follow the same process okay and we know by formula suppose if a, if a, if we have a component which is subjected to sigma x in x direction sigma y in y direction and tau xy so we know at any angle at a plane at any angle theta we know what sigma theta is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta plus tau xy sin 2 theta this is the formula we know so we will have to put the value of sigma x sigma y tau xy as well as theta and then we will calculate and then we will get the value of this sigma theta okay similarly you can calculate the value of tau theta tau theta is, is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 theta minus tau xy cos 2 theta okay here you can again put all the values and you can get the answer now you can imagine the amount of uh, time and the amount of complexities involved in the, in this particular question however this question is very easy if you know the formula you can de definitely solve this but you have to solve it within certain limit of time and when you start solving it by this process it will take more time and especially in the case when you are using virtual calculator you will have to calculate the values with the help of virtual calculator okay so it's not worth to solve it by such method so i will tell you another method through which you can solve such questions with just your imagination with just visualization and nothing else so let us start that process so that method is nothing but the more circle So now, how to draw a Mohr circle? So suppose we have this component which is subjected to two perpendicular stresses, sigma x in x direction and sigma y in y direction. We are not considering shear stress now. Now, how would be the Mohr circle in this particular case? So the Mohr circle is actually a graph between normal stress and shear stress. Here, shear stress is taken in y-axis and normal stress is taken in x-axis. Okay, now how to draw the Mohr circle for this particular case? So for this particular case, first take an appropriate scale and mark sigma x at this particular axis, x-axis, and also sigma y in the same axis, x-axis, because both are normal stress. This is not the shear stress. So in both planes, only normal stresses are at so sigma x at one point and sigma y at another point. Now because the shear stress is not acting here. so these normal stresses sigma x and sigma y are nothing but the principal stresses okay so the distance between the two will be taken as the diameter of the circle and with this diameter we will draw a circle and this circle is nothing but the mohr circle now in our case because sigma y is zero we have a bar which is subjected to an axial load that means the stress is acting only in x direction sigma y is zero so this particular circle will shift this way that means this circle will be tangent to y axis because sigma y is zero and when this uh, circle is tangent to y axis the diameter of this circle the diameter of the circle is nothing but sigma x now this is very important thing and this should immediately flash into your mind whenever you see a bar a cushion with a bar which is subjected to an axial load the immediate reaction on your mind you should visualize a mohr circle which is tangent to the y axis and whose diameter is equal to sigma x when diameter is equal to sigma x obviously this radius will be equal to sigma x by 2 that means shear stress is equal to the radius of the mohr circle is nothing but shear stress shear stress is equal to sigma Uh, sigma x by 2 okay now we have to determine the uh, resultant stress at a plane which is at an angle 45 degree to the vertical okay so our vertical plane this is our vertical plane this ab is our vertical plane 
okay and because in uh, in original figure we have the plane is at an angle 45 degree so in mohr circle it will be taken twice that means at an angle of 90 degree so at an angle of 90 degree we are taking one plane ac this is our required plane and we have to determine the resultant stress at this particular plane only okay so how to determine the resultant stress so for this we will have to join this by origin so this oc is nothing but the resultant stress so we have to determine the value of this oc only and from pythagoras theorem we know that it, this oc square is nothing but oa square plus ac square okay and oa and ac are nothing but the radius of the circle which is nothing but sigma x by 2 so we will get what so this resultant stress is nothing but under root of sigma x by 2 whole square plus sigma x by 2 whole square so from here we can determine the resultant stress this is a simple process okay and this will hardly require that, that you should touch your pen or paper you can immediately visualize this thing on your mind and you can immediately solve this question within few seconds now coming to our question we have a bar which is subjected to 10000 kg of force and axial force and we have to determine the resultant stress so here sigma x will be equal to 10,000 divided by 5 which is 2,000 kg per centimeter square. This will be our Mohr circle. The resultant stress will be equal to under root of sigma by 2 whole square plus sigma by 2 whole square. That means under root of 1,000 square plus 1,000 square resultant stress will be equal to 1,000 root 2 kg per centimeter square. That's it. So you can see how easily and how quickly we can solve such questions, such complicated questions can be solved very easily with the help of Mohr circle. There are many more cases of Mohr circle. You can refer my lectures for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. So thank you for watching students. To get more such videos, subscribe our YouTube channel with a bell icon or download our, our free app Gate Lectures for Mechanical or for having complete course, you can visit our website www.sngateacademy.com. Thank you so much.